What's good you guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a very chill chit chat get ready with me I'm getting ready to film some content today um, and I'm gonna be running a few errands doing a few things so I thought I would chat with you guys since a lot has been going on with life right now and I've also been getting a lot of questions that I kind of wanted to address in this video um, so yeah we're just gonna have a very chill casual chit chat first thing I need to do is I need to finish up my hair I already started doing it a little bit but I decided I should just probably do this on camera I feel kind of annoying because I consistently do the exact same hairstyle and I've been wanting to switch it up but it's like this is just the easiest hairstyle for me right now so I've been using this ponytail that I got from Amazon I can link it down below if you guys want I've been wanting to switch it up and do like more wigs and stuff but I'm just like I don't know wigs are just so hard to me and I want to just get wigs installed instead of trying to do it myself because I always fuck it up if you guys watch my New Year's Eve vlog I had a really bad like wig experience like I tried to install it and it looks so bad so I need to find someone who can install a wig for me um it's just that there's not that many people in Austin who do it and the people who do are usually not available like they're always like booked up so um I need to find someone soon but anyways um, like I said, a lot has been going on in life and I, where the fuck do I even start? Okay, so first of all, obviously if you guys follow me like on Instagram and on TikTok, a lot has been changing. There's been a lot of growth, which is really, really exciting. Um, you guys probably know by now, like obviously I want to do social media full time and I have made it a goal to really grow on not only YouTube, but like TikTok and Instagram. And TikTok for me has been like blowing up recently and it's really, really exciting. Um, and I was not expecting like it to happen so fast, um, but it's just been taking off and I'm almost at like 100K followers. And yeah, I'm just really excited about it. So a lot of people have been asking like what advice I can give for growing on social media. And I honestly will say my biggest piece of advice is consistency. Like. Number one, if you're trying to grow on social media or like start a social media or on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, or wherever you want to be, um, the key is definitely consistency. And I really struggle with consistency, to be honest. Like I'm one of those people who I get really excited about starting things. So like for me, when I first started YouTube, I was super excited about it. But for me, when I don't see like instant success or instant reward or instant like validation when i start something i tend to lose excitement really quickly so i work really well off of like momentum but the thing is like with social media is like you have to be consistent there's people who have been making content for five plus years and they don't see their big break until like their fifth year and it's like for me i have to con consistently remind myself why i'm doing social media and it really comes down to it, the fact that i just really enjoy doing it so one thing that has really helped me in 2020 is just really focusing on the enjoyment of it and not so much like the end goal because obviously if you're consistent and you're doing it out of enjoyment and out of the love for it, it's gonna be a lot easier than if you're like trying to consistently focus on like goals and like growth and numbers. Cause it's like those things are important, but if you get too caught up in it, it's really easy to get like, to be over it basically. So, oh my God, it takes so long for me to do my edges. It's actually insane. I'm actually gonna do this. Let me put this up in a bun. You just really have to find a way to hold yourself accountable and for me, that meant putting myself on a posting schedule. So like I knew what days each week I was gonna be posting. Um, and then the same thing went for TikTok. Like as soon as TikTok kind of like took off, I already knew what to do. Cause like I had that experience with YouTube. So it was really easy for me to get in my groove with TikTok way quicker than I did for YouTube. Um, and then I think that's what really helped me kind of like grow as quickly as I did with TikTok. Also, like as far as social media goes, like my last piece of advice that I'll give and then I'm gonna move on is you have to realize if you're just starting out on social media the harsh truth but like the most important truth is that no one cares about you like honestly it sounds really really fucked up but it's true like no one knows who you are so when you're making content you have to realize that people are watching content for themselves and not for you once you grow to like a certain size like you know there's people with like a million subscribers on youtube and i'll watch whatever they post because like i just like them as people um but for most especially when you're starting out on social media people don't know who you are so a lot of people tend to make videos like you know like maybe your first youtube videos like what's in my bag or 
story time, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, sometimes those can do well, but if people don't know who you are, a lot of times they're not gonna click it because they don't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, imagine some random person goes up to you and says, do you wanna see what's in my bag? You probably don't care, right? So it's like, you have to think about what can you do that is going to create, what kind of content can you make that is creating value for people rather than just trying to be an influencer and expect people to care about you because in reality, that's just not how it works, you know what I mean? So yeah, growth on social media is really, really cool. It's definitely been very exciting, um, especially just because like for me, each month I've been writing out like what, numbers i want to reach each month so like i just hit that 10k on instagram and it's like so dope because i'm like literally looking at my wall and like i had wrote that on a piece of paper that i wanted to achieve that so i definitely think that seeing that number every day and all my other numbers for like everything that i want to do is definitely helping me a lot i will say though and i don't want to sound like i'm complaining because i'm not but i will say like you guys if you guys know me and you guys have watched my videos you guys know i've like had anxiety um for a while and I definitely felt like over the past year I've definitely improved and I've gotten better like I haven't felt as anxious like in most of 2020 like the the late end of 2020 I really stopped feeling as anxious and I felt a lot lot better and I will say honestly it's really weird because even though I'm achieving the things that I want to achieve I definitely still I definitely am starting to feel a little bit more anxiety it's like well fuck like shit's happening like it's really really cool but at the same time it's like i don't know why it's so anxiety inducing but i think a part of me feels like well i don't want to fuck things up and i tend to get like that like when things are going really really well i tend to have this like underlying fear within me that's like well you you can't mess this up like you can't lose this you know what i mean and it's like so stupid but it's like things can be going well in like a relationship or things can be going well with school for me and i and i tend to and it tends to be like when i feel like things are going too well i get really really nervous and so that's how i've been kind of feeling lately with social media and i feel like i've almost been overthinking like my content and my like just everything like i'm really really overthinking and so i'm just trying to remind myself that like people are following me for a reason you guys are watching me right now for a reason and so it's like i just have to like trust myself that i am um going to deliver as long as i'm just being true to myself so yeah i just finished my hair you guys can see i don't really do a good job of like hiding the string of this ponytail just because i'm just filming content so no one can ever really see it um but yeah so oh my god i'm getting like anxious even talking about how I've been feeling anxious. That's so crazy. Mental health is so crazy and weird and it's like such an up and down thing. And I'm not the kind of person who likes to be like, well, I have anxiety, there's nothing you can do about it. Cause I'm a very big believer in like, you have complete control of your mind, honestly. And you, you know, I'm a big believer in the fact that like you control your mind, your mind doesn't control you. But I definitely have my moments. And I think the past few weeks, I've definitely been feeling like, like, a little bit less in control if that makes sense i've just been trying to like slow down like take care of myself um and take a break when i feel like i need it also i've been breaking out really bad recently and i do not know why but i've always struggled with if you guys actually watch i had a video on my like acne journey and i used to have actually really bad acne and i don't know if a lot of people know that but yeah that was one thing that i was like always really really insecure about and my skin started to clear up like my sophomore year of college, but it's just because I went to a dermatologist and they like prescribed me a bunch of stuff. And I've literally been still been taking, I've been taking the same stuff since my sophomore year of college. So, like I'm still on all the medicine and stuff, but my skin is just so weird. And I still have times where I'm like, damn, is my acne gonna come back? Like I get really, really nervous sometimes. But yeah, speaking of like confidence and insecurities and stuff like that, um, I've been getting a lot of questions on TikTok about like, how are you confident? I've talked about this a little bit on my channel, but like, honestly, like I was just saying, like I was not the most confident person for a while. Like when I was in high school, when I was in college even, like I said, I struggled with acne. I didn't really like my hair. Like I just had a lot of like, I wouldn't say I was the most insecure person in the world, but I definitely was not confident. Like I did not, I was not the way that I am right now. So in all honesty, I really want to be that kind of person who's like confidence is within. As long as you feel beautiful on the inside, you're going to show out on the outside. But I definitely can recognize the fact that like there are going to be things about you physically that you might be insecure about. And that's totally normal. And so for me, in all honesty, 
I have started feeling my most confident in this past year. And it's because I honestly addressed the things that I felt physically insecure about. So like, for example, you guys know I went and got lip fillers in September. That was one thing that made me feel 10 times more confident. And again, I really want to be that person who can just be like, you don't have to change anything about yourself. You should just feel confident no matter what you look like, blah, 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 blah. But honestly, that's just not my truth. And I like literally have not been this confident until after I got my lip fillers. When I started going to the gym more consistently, like all those things, that really did help me kind of build my confidence. But I honestly don't think like if you're the kind of person who's just not the most confident, you don't have to go and change things about you but I will say if there's things like for example your body that you're not the most confident about I really encourage you to take control of your life and I'm not saying go and work out and get skinny or go and work out and get thick I'm saying take the steps to take control of your life so like for me I'm not where I want to be body wise but the fact that I'm making the effort consistently and doing something about something I'm not happy about has made me more confident like does that make sense like it's like it's almost like you're training your mind to realize that like you are in control of the way that you see yourself and by doing certain things like by taking care of yourself by going to the gym by meditating by getting enough sleep things like that you are kind of putting yourself in control of how you feel but then how you look so, because it's like it's so easy to sit around and do nothing and feel like shit because that's just the way it works. When you do nothing and when you don't feel like you're doing anything to change your situation, you're gonna continue feeding into a narrative that you're ugly. Or you're gonna continue feeding into a narrative that you're not good enough or that you're X, Y, and Z. And it's really hard, again, when it comes to mental health, it's hard if you're like depressed. It's hard if you're anxious. It's really, really hard to get out of that mindset. But I promise you, when you realize that you are actually in complete control of the way that you look and feel about yourself, you'll kind of like wake up from this like feeling of like, I'm not good enough and start to realize that like you are a bad bitch. And I really, really have appreciated like being on TikTok just because it kind of, there's a lot of people on there who make content that are really good reminders that like you really are the main character in your life. And as stupid as it sounds sometimes, it's true. Like there's no harm in, there's no harm in seeing yourself as the coolest baddest bitch in this world you know you don't have to be like a narcissist but whatever you have to do to realize to like put yourself in that position as the main character i encourage you to do and for me for example a huge part of that is the way that i look and the way that i present myself so for me for example when i get up every day i know that if i don't get dressed i'm gonna feel like shit the entire day so like for me I don't have to wear makeup and do do the most every single day, but for me, definitely getting dressed, um, what I wear definitely has helped kind of boost my confidence. So do whatever it is that you feel like you need to do to feel good about yourself, but also take care of yourself like mentally, cause all of those things go hand in hand. <sighs> I'm so out of breath. Whenever I start talking like that, I cannot keep up with my own words. And then I end up like, so out of breath and then my voice is shaky. I'm like, oh, I need to slow down. But um, yeah, that's just my truth. Like that's the way I see it is like, you really have to realize that you are in complete control. And it's hard again, when you're anxious and depressed, it's hard, I get it. But you have to kind of take that control of your life because no one else is gonna do it for you. If it's going on a run every day, so be it. I fucking hate running. I r will never run in my life. Honestly, I refuse. Um, but some people, that makes them feel like on top of the world every day. So I encourage you to experiment, to try different things and see what makes you feel like that bitch. Like, what do you have to do to feel like that bitch? If that means going around your house and cleaning in heels, I've seen some people do that, then so be it. Then do that. You know, I will say this too, and I said this kind of before in like another video and on TikTok, a lot of people feel like they have to show themselves to people online in order to get that validation and then feel confident. I'm telling you, bro, work on that confidence behind closed doors. And then when you feel conf when you when you start to just not give a fuck and you start to realize that you are that bitch, then go and take some Instagram pictures. Then go and start filming some videos. Then go and do whatever you got to do to get that validation online. But a lot of people look for like, and I'm not even saying like a validation, but like, don't worry about taking pictures of you looking like a bad bitch until you feel like a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we live in such a weird age 
like day and age right now where it's like everything that we do we feel like we have to show people and in reality it's just like it's not healthy like even for me especially like i want to be doing social media full time so a lot of what i do is on social media and so now it's like anytime that i get into something or anytime i'm excited about something i feel the need to film it and show people like online so it's like i've been really into cooking recently oops so I've been like really into cooking recently. And so I'm like, damn, maybe I should start making cooking, like food videos. But it's like, I don't even be making fucking food videos. No one gives a fuck what I'm eating. Like that's not my like online presence. You know what I mean? So it's like, just realize that like, even if you're not doing social media as a job, just realize that you don't have to be a bad bitch for other people. You have to be a bad bitch for you first. And then when you feel com comfortable enough, then you can share that with other people, you know? But it's like Instagram, and sometimes even TikTok can be so toxic and can really make us think that we have to be on display or prove something to people when we really don't. So I've been using this um, Glossier blush and it's like, I forget what it, I think it's called the cloud paint or something like that. And this is my first time ever using a blush that's like cream, you know, like I'm used to using like powder blushes. So I've been loving this. I don't have anything to compare it to, but I like the way this looks on my skin. I'll leave a link down below because I don't remember the name of the shade and I don't feel like looking. I just feel like I don't do a good job of blending it out, but whatever. But yeah. Um, that's been life lately. Again, that's how I've been just feeling really, really confident. I'm almost done with my makeup. I kind of fucked it up just a little bit with my eyebrows, so I'm gonna fix it and put some finishing touches on. Okay, so before I finish this, I'm gonna show you guys my little lip combo. So I use this NYX liner. Um, the shade is Downtown. And then I use this NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. And then I use this lip gloss by this brand called Glossy Days. And I'll leave a link to it down below. Um, but this gloss is like a clear gloss that I put on top of everything. So I'll show you guys really quickly. fucked up because i overlined them but who cares um that's it that is my finished makeup look hope you guys enjoyed the video um let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see any more chit chat videos and if you guys do what topics do you guys want me to cover um i really enjoy making these because they're actually really chill and of course make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you guys aren't already i have new videos coming out every sunday wednesday and some friday so i will see you guys in the next one bye